On the first day, members of the media were allowed inside Rogers Center to cover summer camp 2020. We were treated to the Blue Jays' first intra-squad game. Hi, everybody. I'm Hazel May. Properly social distancing <laughs> with our Blue Jays play-by-play -play <laughs> voice, Dan Schulman. Dan, you and I saw Matt Shoemaker on the mound. He's coming off what was an outstanding camp in Dunedin. Shoemaker threw 60 pitches. 42 of those were strikes in roughly, and we say roughly, five-ish innings yeah. of work. How did he look to you? Well, I thought he looked great. I mean, everything was a little bit different. Nobody in the stands. You could hear... Yeah. Yeah. A seagull flying around for about half the night. Guys were playing for both teams, hitting every inning. But Matt Shoemaker went out there, and again, what was an inning tonight uh, was different all the time, but might have gone all six innings. He was the only pitcher for his team tonight. And when you throw 60 pitches over about six innings, and as you said, 42 strikes, you're being really efficient. You don't want to get too far ahead of yourself, but he looked like he was in midseason form. And he was so good last year before he suffered the knee injury to see him go out there and look like he could take the ball and maybe go five, six innings in a regular season game in a couple of weeks is a big boost for the Blue Jays. Yeah, speaking of picking up where they left off, Bo Bichette <laughs> hit a monster home run off Matt Shoemaker. He was terrific, and COVID-19 obviously interrupted what was a pretty nice spring for him. Yeah. It was nice to see the young guy pick up. Yeah, he doesn't miss a beat. I mean, he looks like he could take three and a half months off and come out and just hit line drives all over the place, and obviously he didn't take three and a half months off. He kept working at his trade, lined a home run over the fence and left center field. Rowdy Telez also had a nice night, had an opposite field home run, hit a couple of other balls very hard tonight. Not all the regulars were in there. Not all the regulars are in Toronto, but to see guys like Bichette and Rowdy Telez in there swinging the bat well, again, you're trying to pick out little things, little <laughs> positives that make you think, hey, they, they could be ready to start the season in a couple of weeks, and Bichette and Telez were in that group in this game. Things got so scrambled, I stopped scoring the ball game. You and I were joking <laughs> about that. Uh, Dan and I also got our first glimpse of Simeon Woods Richardson, who, of course, you remember, was a big part of the Marcus Stroman trade. He allowed two hits, had a couple of grounders-ish um, it was nice to see him out there. What did you think? It, it really was. We have to remember, he's 19 Teen, yeah. years old. He's a teenager, and here he is chosen to be part of this 60-player pool that the Blue Jays have. That says what the Blue Jays think about him. And for him to spend time around veteran pitchers and to be able to learn from them and just absorb it, he's not going to pitch in the big leagues this year uh, unless a million things went sideways on the Blue Jays. But for him to spend the next two and a half months around big leaguers, learning their work habits, learning their thought processes, that sort of thing, it can only be valuable experience for him. And maybe he wasn't at the top of his game tonight, but he, he got it out of the way. He looked sharp enough, and he walked off the field and got handshakes from big league ball players. And speaking of young, excited up-and-coming superstars. Charlie Montoyo told members of the media that Austin Martin is due to come up here to Toronto. He will be added to the 60-player pool. We will see, and so will you Blue Jays fans. We'll see intra-squad games on Sportsnet beginning next week, July 14th and 15th. First pitch around-ish 6.30 <laughs> Eastern.